So I haven't got the vlogging done that I've wanted to do in the past little while. I've had a few things come up that have basically um, made things a little different. So anyways, just gonna open a package here now that came in today. So I got my shipment from Amazon for a new project that I'm working on, which has nothing to do with usually what I'm doing. But anyways, the package is here, so we're gonna get to opening that up. So let's get to getting this bad boy open. So there we go, Kanakit Raspberry Pi, 32 gig edition. It's the first thing we're gonna pop open here. And we'll just move that box out of the way. The header reference, HDMI cable, Raspberry Pi case, you can see nice little Raspberry Pi emblem, all that kind of stuff, pretty straightforward, camera HDMI, the header, all that kind of good stuff. The Raspberry Pi itself. So this is friction fit, not spring loaded. Good to know. If you haven't seen before, that is a Raspberry Pi. I'm just going to leave it in there for now in the static pack. Little 32 gig card. The note that it may appear to be a one gig, but it's not. An SD card reader, which is kind of cool. A couple of heat sinks, even though this thing runs on very little power. Plug. And finally, but not least, quick start guide. So that is your can kit, Raspberry Pi kit. Fairly inexpensive, fairly cheap, pretty decent. Um, we're gonna do some cool things with this. And now, this guy, which is also important for this kit. Game controllers. So you probably know what we're gonna do with this Pi. So, look like Super NES controllers. They probably feel as cheap, maybe a bit cheaper than the original controllers. So we've got one multicolored, one with a purple. They are USB controllers. So these are the Super NES controllers. Hopefully they'll be good for the Raspberry Pi. They're made in China, obviously. The USB, they were dirt cheap. I think they were 12 bucks. But nonetheless, we'll see how well they work. And uh, let's get this Raspberry Pi built. So pretty straightforward installation. It just snaps in underneath. And then, obviously, the Pi case top just goes on top. Then you hook in the power supply and you're ready to go. It's a nice little slot there. Just a friction feed. It is in, and that's essentially it. I'm not gonna attach the heat sinks for now, I just wanna get things going. Nor am I gonna put the lid on. So there you have it. That's the uh, build for the Raspberry Pi. Lloyd and I have been using it to uh, play a bunch of retro games. You can watch them on this channel if you haven't seen them already. Check them out. We're playing a ton, ton of old school games. It's been really, really fun. 
And uh, especially in the day and age where the NES Classic is being sold for so much on eBay, even the console itself, you can do it a lot cheaper with the Raspberry Pi. And you can have a multitude of controllers. I'm using the S Super NES ones, but you can add Xbox controller, PlayStation controllers, the arcade build, which I'll probably do later. You can put even the NES Classic, which everybody's crazy about right now, and it's been really hard to get. So, I mean, check it out if you're, it doesn't take a lot of skill to do it. You might add some videos later on, specifically where to get some of the stuff. But it, it, it's, it's a really, really great build for a great gaming system that's a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun with your friends hanging out, all that kind of stuff. So I do highly recommend it. So essentially this is the end of the video. Again, I always say I mean to vlog and, and I don't get around to it. Uh, I am trying a bit. I am trying to do different things. I just, you know, I'm in the process of working it out. For me, it's a, it's a little different to share some of the stuff that I do publicly because generally I'm a pretty private guy. So hopefully they'll become more frequent. Um, as I mentioned, you know, things are a little more complicated uh, over here currently due to some circumstances that I'm not really going to discuss. Um, but, you know, the plan is to get more stuff to you guys and to let you in a little bit more and see exactly what I do and how I go about it. So I'm going to end the video here, essentially, um, but I'm going to share with you. I'm going to have a beer. Uh, I was in Canmore and uh, Grumpy Bear uh, from the Grizzly Pro Brewery out in Canmore. It's really good stuff. It happens to be probably my favorite beer right about now. Um, so cheers to you guys. It's the first beer I've had with you guys since uh, being in Japan. Uh, there is some plans for me to go back to Japan this year. Or sorry, not this year, but uh, 2017. I, I do plan on going back to Japan. I'm also planning on going to Singapore for a while. So hopefully I will do what I did last time. I'll have some travel vlog footage going on. So uh, if you enjoyed those... I mean, uh, stick around, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for uh, tuning in, watch me unbox the uh, Raspberry Pi. Like I said, check out the other videos, you can see what we've been playing on it. And if you have any questions on how to set up your own Raspberry Pi or your own gaming system like that, just leave it in the comments below. Cheers. See ya.